Okay, thank you, Bob, with IBF super middleweight champion James Tony. First of all, how are things going, and what kind of fight are you trying to line up for yourself, James? Well, things are going pretty good right now for me. Uh, as far as things coming up for me, I hope I'm trying to, you know, get a fight with Roy Jones down the line and possibly win um, the light heavyweight title, and Virgil will give me a chance. You are probably the most active fighter in the ring today. You believe in that more than other fighters, it seems like. How does that help you out? Well, it keeps me, in sh it keeps me sharp. You know, I believe, you know, if you're a champion, you're a people's champion, you got to be out in front of the public every, every time you get a chance. So I try to stay busy, let everybody know that James Tony is always doing something. And how far in advance do you think you'll be fighting? I mean, you know how negotiations go, and yeah. if you don't get the fight you want right away, you're going to get back in there soon? But if I don't get the fight, like I said, with Roy Jones pretty soon, I'm going to fight probably in January, then fight again in March, fight again in April, fight again in May. You know, that's me. James Tony always keeps a busy schedule. A throwback to the old days. Definitely, but, but you know, I, I always, I'm constantly winning, I'm constantly making money. All right, now, uh, Roy Jones, a big marquee fight for you. Quickly, how, how would you see that matchup? I see, my, I see myself stopping Roy Jones. You know, he can't handle my pressure. He never fought a guy who can fight all dimensions like me. You know, I'm a complete fighter. I can fight forward, backward, side to side, whatever. So I'm ready, you know. I, I, all we got to do is sign the, sign the contract. And with your active style, you see all kinds of fighters and nothing that somebody should throw at you you haven't seen before. I've seen every style. Runners, you know, smooth boxing. I've done it all. I'm able to adapt to anything. What brings you to this fight tonight? Well, we, we, like I said, I'm here negotiating for... for how, how close are you, do you think? How uh, close are we? I hope about, I think about maybe a month away from it. You know, it's, it's, you know, it's tough in, the game, in this game of nailing down things at the, at the very moment. But we're working on it. Handicap to fight for us. Mercer Ferguson, too. I have, I have Mercer coming out. You know, he's in a lot better shape. I think he's going to beat Jesse Ferguson. I think he'll stop him. Well, with everything swirling around him, how do you think he'll adjust to that? Well, I think, you know, Mercer's a, you know, he's a veteran. He's been around. I think he's got, I think he's big enough to put everything behind him and think about the man in front of him and think about the task at hand. Okay, James, thanks for stopping by. Hey. Continued good luck in negotiations, and we'll throw it back to Bob Pop.